Hey guys, this is Andrew from Andronica.com and I'm taking a look at the new version of the Android Market which looks a little, shall we say, familiar? <coughs> Windows Phone 7. Uh, it's basically designed off rectangles and pictures and you scroll through it, it's kind of disjointed. I Personally, I don't like this at all because it makes me feel like I'm a six-year-old with ADD because there's just so much going on, there's no organization to it. But, you know, Google doesn't care what I think, so let's see what they change. Uh, it has some of the features that they mention at Google I.O. There's a big uh, push to feature more apps. So it's got the staff pick sections and editor's choice like you saw uh, on the Android Market websites. These are from actual Google employees who are going through the market and combing through it and picking stuff that they personally want to highlight that they think is worth seeing. Uh, now there's also some other cool things. They've got the top paid you scroll through, you got the top free apps, right? You've always had that. But the problem is, if you notice, these are the, all the apps that have been there for like a year, with the exception of Google+. Plus. You know, these, it's always the same apps. Now they have top new paid. So these are apps that just came into the market that have been around for a while. And, you know, uh, if it's brand relatively new, you know, past two or three weeks, like Cut the Rope, it's at the top of the new paid. They've also got the top free new apps from the past few weeks, and they have a section called Trending. This is basically what's hot right now. So if I'm scrolling through, I can say, hey, you know what? There's a lot of people using the guitar live wallpaper. Maybe I want to check that out, and you can go and do that. One thing I have noticed in the 10 minutes that I've been using this, they don't do that for the game section, though. For some reason, it's only done for apps. Uh, you've got the same featured parts. When you scroll through to get the top new and the top free, they don't have that. Uh, but, you know, it's the new market also supports movies. Uh, unfortunately, you can't buy movies, you can only rent them. So, you know, if you're going on a long trip, you know, maybe you want to check out the classic vacation movie, pay $3 and rent it that way. Uh, you know, it's probably going to get that on Netflix, you know, but I'm just saying. Um, for the people that just want to rent it once, uh, 13 Assassins, oh, you say that's okay. Uh, it gives you a quick little synopsis of the movie. Uh, you go down and you get cast and credits, and if you want it, you click rent. Uh, you can also watch previews, that's very important I note that. It has like a video preview. If you click rent uh, for a limited time, you can watch this. Uh, I forget the exact date, um, don't quote me on that, but the point is you you have a limited time, so watch it as soon as you get it. Uh, but this is only available in the United States, so if you're in the UK, in Canada and all those other places, they don't have the licensing agreements to, to rent movies to you. So that's the only way you can get it. Uh, Battle of Los Angeles. Uh, I'm not going to turn it into a little movie review or whatever. Basically, you guys know it's there. Uh, as you see, I put, tap the little share button, right? That's the Android share function. I can add it to read it later. I can share it on uh, Facebook. I can send in a Gmail or whatever I want. It's pretty cool if you want to like, have like a bookmark of an app or something. Also new in the market, Android Books. You tap that, you see all right, what's going on, what's what's hot, and you say, hey, New York Times bestsellers. This is basically a list of the, the top selling books in the United States, and it's really cool that they've included this in here because Game of Thrones uh, tells you that's a popular book right now. You can get a free sample of it, or you can pay $9 and read it, and of course you can read it in your Google Books app. Uh, it's got reviews from other people have read it. Uh, actually, I'm not going to show that in your video because most people probably have spoilers on that. By the way, A Dance with Dragons came out today, and so far it's pretty sick. So I'm trying to rush through this video so I can go back to reading it. Uh, excuse me for going a little fast. In the book section, they've got featured. They've got the top selling, uh, not just New York Times. I mean, uh, top selling on the Google market for books. They've got the top free books, and they've got new arrivals like, uh huh, A Dance with Dragon. So that's why I'm rushing. Like I said, it's pretty sick so far. All right. And that's been a quick tour of the Android market. Now, this is going to be rolling out to your phone in a few weeks. This is just a leaked version of it that uh, somebody sent me. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend installing it because I haven't really tested it to see if it's what type of effect it'll have. But if you're you're nosy and you want to see it right now and you can't wait, follow the link in the bottom. Uh, you can find a description link on enjoynica.com. And with that said, I'm out. I gotta go edit this video really quick and then go read A Dance with Dragons. So peace out, guys.